Hey there, looks like it's that time again. The plans for the upcoming banners in Genshin Impact have seen some changes, especially with the new regional banner missing in the upcoming version 4.6. We will also speculate which versions will feature regional banners. I want to give you a heads up so you can plan your pulls wisely with the limited Prima Gems we'll be getting. Hopefully, you'll have enough Prima Gems to wish for your favorite characters. We will start with version 4.7 till version 5.0. You might be wondering, how am I going to speculate the character who will be released in version 5.0? It's actually a lot easy to guess. We will just follow Fontaine's pattern. Before we get into it, here's a calendar to help you track when each patch is dropping, just in case you're curious. Just remember the dates might shift depending on Mihoyo's decisions to delay or shorten a patch. Now, let's start with the update 4.7. According to Full Stop Chan, a reliable leaker spilled the beans on three new faces in version 4.7, Clorinda, Sigwin, and Sethos. Sigwin wasn't on our radar before, but thanks to Full Stop Chan, she's now in the mix. Clorinda is rumored to be a five-star Electro Sword character, set to debut as a DPS unit centered on the overload elemental reaction that mixes pyro and electro elements. Fontaine already has Chevreus, who uses this reaction too. It was said that Chevreuse will be the best support for Clorinde if she's an overload damage dealer. Some other folks think Clorinde will be like Raiden Shogun, an electro DPS unit. I honestly don't mind any of these, I just need her for my account. We'll know more about her abilities in about five to six days. Sethos appeared in the version 4.6 trailer, facing off against Sino in a rite of duels. This might be because they both have ties to the Temple of Silence and the ancient god Hermanubis, who's linked to Sino's power. Sethos has an electrovision like Sino. While not confirmed, you can see his electrovision briefly in the version 4.6 livestream. Sethos is also rumored to be a four star character, but we're still waiting for confirmation on that. Sigwin, rumored to be a five star Hydro Bow character, possibly a healer. Keep in mind that Sigwin's rarity is just speculation for now, since we know nothing about her. It's a bit strange that Mihoyo is releasing them this late, especially since they were some of the first characters we met in Fontaine. A lot of players are really looking forward to their arrival, especially Clorinde. It's not surprising though. I mean, pretty much the entire community is eagerly waiting for her, and I'm sure Mihoyo is well aware of that. Furina is set to have her first rerun in version 4.7, you might be wondering why, as Archons usually rerun four patches after their initial release. Well, that's still true, but Furina is not getting a banner in version 4.6 because she's no longer an Archon. You can find out more by completing Fontaine's Archon quest. Since Furina won't be featured in version 4.6, she's definitely lined up for a rerun in version 4.7. So if you want both Arlecchino and Furina, it's time to start saving up. As for the last character, it should be Shenhei. She hasn't had a banner since Sumeru, which was almost a year ago or maybe even longer. So she's definitely due for a banner in version 4.7. If not Shenhai, then it might be Rothesley, although I have doubts about that. Regarding the speculation that Shenhai will join the Chronicled Banner, that's unlikely. Genshin stated that for a character to join the Chronicled Banner, they must have had three or more banners. And guess how many times Shenhai has had a banner? Just twice. So no, she won't be joining the Chronicled Banner. As I mentioned in one of my previous videos, only filler patches will feature Chronicled Banners. Since version 4.7 isn't a filler patch, especially with the Danesleaf quest coming up, there won't be a Chronicled Banner in this update. I made a similar prediction for version 4.6, and it seems to be holding true. Chronicled Banners are typically reserved for filler patches. In the final patch of the Fontaine region, version 4.8, we can expect the long-awaited rerun of Alhatham, the DPS character. He hasn't had a banner since Sumeru in version 3.7, so it's about time for his return. Alongside Alhatham, we'll also see the rerun of Nilu. The same logic applies to her as well, as she last had a banner in the Sumeru patches, so Nilu and Alhatham will both get their banners in this version. Additionally, Navia will receive her first rerun in version 4.8. The reason is straightforward. Mihoyo usually reruns characters before their region patches come to an end. Since Navia was released in Fontaine, she'll rerun before Fontaine's patches conclude. And guess which version is the last one for Fontaine patches? Version 4.8.
So yes, she will indeed rerun in this version. The last character in version 4.8 will likely be Rothsley. He was released way back in version 4.1 and hasn't had a rerun yet. Interestingly, the character who debuted alongside him in the same version already got their first rerun. As I mentioned earlier, Mihoyo tends to rerun new characters before their region's patches conclude, so it's highly probable that Rothsley will finally get his rerun in this version. Since version 4.8 is considered a filler patch, we can expect the return of Chronicled Banners. As I mentioned earlier, Mihoyo tends to introduce Chronicled Banners exclusively in filler updates. However, the real question is which Chronicled Banner will be featured this time. The answer seems straightforward. We'll likely see Liyue's Chronicled Banner. Lately, there hasn't been much focus on Liyue characters. And considering that most Liyue characters have had more than three banners, it's plausible that Liyue's regional banner will make an appearance. Characters like Ganyu and Hu Tao are still missing from recent banners. Ganyu, in particular, hasn't had a banner in quite some time, even though we received her skin. So, a Liyue chronicled banner seems like a reasonable assumption to make. Additionally, we might anticipate the introduction of two new four-star characters and a new limited map, possibly resembling the Golden Apple Archipelago. This version could also bring some fresh skins. While we don't have any information about these characters yet, hopefully we'll learn more about them in the future. In the past, we've observed a pattern with versions 0.4 and 0.8 where skins are usually released, including both free ones and paid ones. This tradition began with version 1.6 when we got skins for Jean and Barbara. You might be wondering why we received a free skin in version 1.6 when I mentioned only 0.4 and 0.8 versions. Well, the reason for this exception was that version 1.6 marked the end of the Mondstadt and Liyue patches. Therefore, version 1.6 is equivalent to version 1.8, as region patches typically conclude on 0.8 versions. Following this pattern, in version 2.4, we got skins for Keqing and Ningguang, in 2.8 for Deluch and Fischl, in 3.4 for Ayaka and Lisa, in 3.8 for Kaya and Klee, and most recently in 4.4, we received skins for Ganyu, Shenhei, and Xingqiu. You can see the consistent pattern that Mihoyo follows with these releases. So in version 4.8, we're definitely getting new skins, both paid and a free one. Now on to version 5.0. This marks the beginning of the Natlin patches. Natlin is one of the seven regions in the game, and after our adventures in Mondstadt, Liyue, Inazuma, Sumeru, and Fontaine, Natlin will be our next destination. The new character introduced in this version will be Ian-san. Ian-san appears in the Teyvat chapter storyline preview act Viv, Natlan. She's described as a small girl with dark skin, long ears, light green eyes, and long gray hair pulled back into pigtails. You might be wondering how I knew that. Well, I'm just following the pattern from Fontaine. Liney was first teased in the same video as Ian-san, and he was the first character to get a banner in the Fontaine patches. The same logic applies to Ian-san. She will be the first character to rerun in this version. Zhongli and Xianyun will both get their banners in this version as well. As for the last character, it might be a new one like Expelanc or something along those lines. However, there won't be a chronicled banner in this version because, well, it's not a filler update. So that's all for now. We covered all the characters from version 4.7 to version 5.0. I hope you found this video helpful. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time.